Hello to Walking Dead fans, this is Rory Williamson from the Everything Geek Podcast and today taking a look at uh, the Walking Dead figure from Series 7. This figure is the Mudwalker um, and you know I was myself uh, very excited um, for this Walker figure to be released because in my opinion you know in the last one or two waves um, you know as the show goes on uh, you know, like with a franchise, it's kind of hard to create an iconic feel to recreate it, I should say. Um, uh, and, you know, I feel like, you know, they've kind of, in some ways, run out of iconic walkers to do, or that was the case when, in the last couple of waves, for example, the Bungie Gut Walker, which they released in Series 6, I think. Um, you know, I did buy it, and I will review it at some point. Um, you know... I just felt it wasn't it. I mean, it barely featured after all in the episode it was in, and um, uh, you know I usually know a lot, but you know the kind of minor characters, minor walkers that briefly appear in well, minor characters, lots of franchises I'm a fan of. Um, but even I, even it took me quite a bit to remember. Um, but I think it was the play feature, you know, that excited me most about that figure in the end. Um, it's probably the reason I got it, but. Now, I feel like, you know, in recent waves, you know, well, I think the last time we really had a good iconic, good iconic Walker figures was the Riot Gear and um, the Riot Gear and Gas Mask Walkers from Series 4. I can't remember if they released any Walkers at Series 5. Yes, they did. The Child Walker, that was another one. I don't feel is that iconic either. Um, but I feel like the Mud Walker actually changes that. I feel like this walker is pretty iconic, you know what I mean? The way it comes out of the mud, you know, when in the episode it was in the season four, mid-season finale, Two Fair Gone was pretty iconic, and the way in which it bit and killed uh, little Megan Chambly, you know, I felt that whole sequence was pretty iconic. Well, maybe not the killing itself, but um, just the way it comes out of the mud, I felt that was pretty iconic, and of course, the walker is amply called Mud Walker. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk about the figure in just a moment, but first we'll look at the packaging. Uh, Mudwalker, as it says there, and based on Series 7, um, and the new logo on the front, uh, which has some of the Terminus letters on it. Yeah, not all of them, but has most of them. Um, yeah, and then the other figures in the wave on the back, the Mudwalkers on the far left, and now I'm... Take a note of the colour of the figure here because I'll be talking about this. This is obviously when they put the figures on the back of the pack to and um, it's usually prototype images of the figures and as you'll see in a moment um, when I review the figure you now the packaging the figure on the back of the pack tune looks very different to the uh, to the final product which I'll be talking about and of course the other figures which include Gareth who we've already reviewed, Michonne, Rick, Carl and Herschel. So now we'll take a look at the Mudwalker figure. Um, as I was pointing out um, just a moment ago, um, the final figure itself um, looks very different in contrast to um, the prototype image. The prototype image I don't think was accurate at all. If there's one thing, you know, as I've said before in other reviews, I do, um, you know, you know, detail is the most important thing for me in a figure, you know, uh, in that it looks exactly accurate, you know, articulation is a second thing for me, which is actually a good thing, because this figure is oddly shaped, and its articulation point, you know, is interesting, I'll say that, because it's kind of hard to tell what articulation it has in some cases, um, but the detail... Um, I remember in the episode, I think it was like a lighter brown, um, but this, the figure is a darker brown, um, so I think that's a little bit off, but the colouring itself actually, I think, in some ways makes up for it a little bit. I mean, it's still uh, not completely accurate, and I'm not, and obviously that's not a good thing, but I think the colour scheme itself anyway is pretty interesting. Um, I'll just bring back the packaging again and show you. Um, so you kind of you can see that this is kind of a darker, the final figure is kind of darker in contrast to the um, other one. And there's like some details on the figure that look a bit different. Um, yeah, um, just close up of the figure's head. 
very interesting. One thing that I only actually noticed, this is kind of a slightly gruesome thing, but it makes sense. Um, that I only noticed when I was reading a description of the figure prior to review is that I might have to do an insane close up for you to actually see this. Is that he's got a worm coming out of his nose, like. I think that figure even goes into his eye, like that's pretty gruesome. I mean, it's something very small, and you're not likely to know it if you to see it if you don't know in advance. That's why it was handy that I actually saw it. The description prior to review, it's like small thing you won't notice if you didn't know it in advance. I think, um, but it's pretty cool. It's interesting. <laughs> um, obviously, you know, disgusting, but still, it's a little interesting fact there. Um, you can tell, you know, they really went with uh, getting a lot of the mud on the fig, you know, making them very muddy, maybe too much, I'm not even sure how muddy it was in the episode, then again, you know, you really saw the top half of him, I think, um, which comes into play with a play feature that the figure has, um, details really are amazing, I'm very interested, actually, in the paint applications they used for the mud, because, kind of, you know, it's, Interest, it's got an interesting touch, if you know what I mean. Um, well, you probably won't if you don't have the figure yourself, but it's very strange. It kind of rubs off on my fingers, actually, which is strange. And I demonstrated that with my thumb, so a bit of inconsistency on my part. Um, yeah, there's the back of the figure, a lot more mud. Um, yeah, uh, as for the accessories, it does cover a couple of you know interesting accessories. Um, there's this muddy patch, um, just pretty cool, you know, muddy land, it's, um, I guess meant to be, you know, underneath the figure, when it, underneath, um, the character, you know, when we see it on screen, because, of course, we see the sign, which I'll get to in a moment, um, now, one of my complaints with this figure, actually, which I haven't shown you, um, is that the figure comes with these kind of, like, uh, oh, it's, I'm not really too sure what the word is, but, like, you know, Pegs, I'll call them pegs for now because that's really the only thing I can think of. Um, but like, you know, they are glued onto the figure, so it's actually impossible to stand it up on its own. Like, see, it just fell over. Um, but you know, it does the this area, you know, um, this accessory does have multiple holes which you can fit the pegs into. Um, so it's actually how I was standing up the figure for the review so far, you know, I just had it standing on this. Um, you know, it's interesting, but I think, you know, it would be nice to be able to stand a figure out some, but... I don't know, maybe it's cool access. It's a cool accessory all the same, and the other one, of course, which we will remember, is the Flash Flood sign, um, from the episode, which is pretty cool, um, one play feature which I don't actually want to show you, because... Let's just say I have a bad habit of accidentally breaking my Walking Dead figures, or one or two of them, I should say, uh, slightly damaging them. Maybe not breaking them, um, obviously not breaking them, that would be bad, um, but slightly damaging them and trying to show off their play features. But um, just like in the episode itself, you can actually, um, uh, you know, split the figure in half and um, stick it on the flood sign, you know, like in the episode when it comes out of the mud. Um, I don't actually need to really show you the play feature because it's actually demonstrated right there on the packaging. Just pretty interesting. In fact, I think you're meant to put the um the other muddy area in front of the flood sign, and then that's how it recreates the scene, which is interesting. But you know, like I said, I don't want to risk it, you know, because I don't actually know how to split the figure in half for one. Um, well, I could tell it's somewhere around here, but other than that, I'm not too sure. Um. It's only articulation, like I said, you know, the figure, it's kind of wonky, you know, it's kind of interesting and hard to tell what the articulation really is, but I think it's a, but I think it's a ball-hinged head and shoulders and wrist as well, at least on this side, it might just be a ball-jointed wrist, um, in fact, I don't think the shoulder is ball-hinged, I think it's jointed, uh, yeah, and then, um, pretty sure the wrists are ball-hinged, um, yeah, they definitely are, or jointed, yeah, um, ball jointed torso, um, and ball hinged hips, I'm pretty sure, ball hinged ankles, well, no, not ankles, knees, that one I'm definitely sure of, um, and also, in fact, I don't think there are any, there is any ankle articulation, is there? 
No, I guess the pegs kind of take that away in some way, I guess. Um, yeah, there's no ankle articulation, but, you know, it's a very interesting figure. As I said, you know, the Mud Walker, um, as I said, you know, I feel like they've kind of... They hit, hit a patch in the last couple of waves where they released walkers, but they weren't really iconic, which is actually fair enough, because season 3 and 4, for me, for the most part, didn't actually have that many iconic walkers, but the Mud Walker was one of them. I'm very happy that it got a figure, so I think it's really great, really nice detail. Um, yeah, definitely a walker that you should consider adding to your collection. For me, Season 5, which just finished, of course, had quite a few iconic walkers, uh, like the Warder walkers and the Napalm one, so I hope at least uh, they get, you know, a figure release at some point. In fact, uh, in the wave, in a very, you know, kind of small wave that... Uh, of two figures, I think it is, between seven and eight, um, they're releasing a flu walker, which again, I mean, the flu episodes, of course, were good at all and interesting, but I can't even remember that particular flu walker, so, but I'll definitely get because it it's a pretty cool looking walker, but, you know, the mud walker figure is great, um, the detail is really good, um, even if I think it's meant to be a lighter color scheme, especially around the face, um, but it's still really good. Um, the articulation, I think, would be my only complaint. Not so much of the lack of it, but more so because I'm not really too sure what articulation it has. And you know, it's kind of hard to tell with the way the figure is sculpted. But still a good figure and definitely a walker you should consider adding to your collection. So thank you very much for watching.